Hey everybody, Greg here again. Uh, just wanted to show you a video on how I like to germinate my seeds. These are actually all uh, tree seeds. It's a little early for me. It's only December. Uh, I'm here in Zone 6A, Southern Ontario. Uh, way too early for me to start any uh, vegetable seeds indoors. So, uh, But I do like to get my tree seeds going a little early and that way they're just a bit bigger, a bit taller when I get them outside in the spring. So uh, I tend to keep them in pots. So you can check out some of my other videos. I do have videos on my uh, orange trees and lemon trees that I have growing. Um, I've got some uh, apple trees that I've got. I haven't got them on video yet. Same thing with some Asian pears. Uh, here, I actually do have, these are Asian pear seeds here. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, sorry, Bartlett pear seeds, and these are Granny Smith apple seeds. These are seeds I have just taken out of fruit that I've eaten. Uh, same thing I did with all of my other ones. Um, again, if you go back, you look at my uh, orange trees and my lemon tree. They were just taken from seeds that we used in the house. <coughs> Excuse me, just, sorry, fruit that we used within the house and uh, was able to grow from them. So uh, one thing that uh, helps to speed up this method is using hydrogen peroxide. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is similar in composition to water. Uh, the only difference is hydrogen peroxide has an extra atom of oxygen. So you're not adding a chemical to the process here that's toxic. Uh, it, it is, and it is environmentally friendly. Um, the seed coat softens in this diluted hydrogen peroxide solution, and that's how it helps get the uh, germination up a little bit quicker. It allows the seed to absorb more oxygen. What you want to do is use an 8 to 1 ratio, so 8 to 1 water to hydrogen. Um, what I've got here is a 500 ml or 2 cup bottle of water. So what I've done is I've taken out a quarter cup of water from it, and I have a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide here. This is the bottle I took it from. It's just simple hydrogen peroxide, 2%, sorry, 3%, uh, H2O2. That's all it is. So... Let's get going on this, and the first thing I want to do is add in the hydrogen peroxide to the water here. And hopefully my measurements were right, because I took out a quarter cup, and that's pretty freaking close. Okay, there we go. All right. Get that sealed up. Give her a shake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I have labeled this HP, just so I know this is the one with the solution. And the paper towel method I find is my best way to germinate seeds into baggies. Um, I find this effective because I can see which seeds have germinated, get them into a seed tray with some soil, and I know I'm going to get a plant out of that or much more of a chance than if I just take a seed tray, fill it up with soil, drop some seeds in, wait and see what comes. Uh, germination rate is never 100%, even this method. These are not all gonna germinate for me. Uh, I've got a small grow room and I just find it more efficient to do it this way. Then I know at least I'm ahead of the game when I get these into a seed tray. So having said that, again, these are the Asian pear ones here. So what I'm gonna do, get them folded up. Just double fold like that. And I'm gonna take the solution. This might get a little messy, hopefully not too bad. Drop a little water on. Oh, there we go. I like to squeeze a little bit out. I don't, you don't want it super soaked. You want it moist. So there we go. You can see the seeds are covered in the water there. I do have these baggies here labeled, just plain banner tape, wrote down on it. So 
seal it up. And these will now go into a dark place, probably into a cupboard or a drawer, and let them sit and germinate. It may take a few days, it may take longer. Uh, trees do tend to take a little bit longer, tree seeds, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So here we'll do the next one. It's already a little moist thanks to my drips there. Just add a little bit more. Again, a bit of a squeeze just to make sure I get some of that excess out. Uh, I don't like too much water in it because I do not want mold forming on it. So these are the Bartlett pear. So they're going to go into the, this bag. Again, just seal her up. And lastly, we have the Granny Smith apple. One thing I wanted to mention while I'm doing this, uh, each of these fruits may not come out as the same fruit that I took it from. Uh, because generally, these are grown commercially by grafting. So, uh, I may end up coming up with different, uh, say a different apple on this. It may be totally new apple, who knows? Uh, the only fruit that actually will mimic its fruit from seed are nectarines and uh, peaches, interestingly enough, which I've actually got some nectarine and peach seeds uh, sitting in the fridge now waiting. They are basically overwintering, and I'm going to be getting them going shortly with the same method. All right, so there we go. That's it. That's how easy it is. We're going to let them sit. Uh, I'm going to check back on them in a few days. We'll see how they're doing. And I will post another video once they're ready and uh, show how I get them planted into some soil. All right, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.